Hey guys, LaBernanier here with Uncharted Drake's Fortune. This is going to be a let's play, as promised, of the HD Remastered Edition, whatever you want to call it, uh, done by Blue Point Studios. And of course, it's the original game done by Naughty Dog. So let's get on to this. Uh, just a few things first before I do. Uh, I'm not going to talk during the cutscenes. Although that may change depending on how YouTube does their content ID. I don't think Sony and Naughty Dog have too many complaints with that, but we'll see. So we'll go new game, campaign, and uh, we're just going to go on normal difficulty. As you can see there, we also have hard and crushing. Uh, I'll do that on my own time. Here off the coast of Panama, where we just recovered what we believe to be the coffin of legendary explorer Sir Francis Drake, who was buried at sea over 400 years ago. Are you sure you want to be defiling your ancestors' remains like that? You make it sound so dirty. <laughs> Besides, thought you didn't believe me. Well, I did do my research, and apparently Francis Drake didn't have any children. Well, history can't be wrong, you know. <clears throat> For example, you can't defile an empty coffin. What the hell? <laughs> you devil. What is it? Come on, hold it up. No, 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 no way. Deal was for a coffin. That's it. Wait a minute. If my show hadn't have funded this expedition, hey, hey, you wouldn't you have... got your story, lady. Look, Mr. Drake, you signed a contract. <laughs> I have a right to see no, every single thing that... Could you hold that thought? Sully, uh, we got some trouble. Hurry it up. Okay, okay. What's going on? Uh... Pirates. Pirates? Yeah, the modern kind. They don't take prisoners. At least not male prisoners. Wait, what are you talking about? Uh, sh shouldn't we call the authorities or something? Yeah, that'd be a great idea, but we don't exactly have a permit to be here. What? Yeah, so unless you want to end up in a Panamanian jail, we should probably handle this ourselves. But what's worse? You obviously haven't been in a Panamanian jail. Do you know how to use one of these? Uh, yeah, it's like a camera. You just you point and shoot, right? Good girl. Here we go. How the hell they find us out here? All right, so we're right into it. This is chapter one, ambush. Uh, this is actually my second time playing through this. As I had some issues with my Elgato not picking up the centered channel audio, which is important, especially for the cutscenes. So, uh, yeah, there's definitely some new things in this one. Uh, during my limited playthrough, I, I believe I got up to chapter 5. So anything after that will be, like, as blind as it can be as someone who's played it once. So, <laughs> But, uh, yeah, anyway. Some of the new things that are in all the uh, three games of, the, of this trilogy set is that you have oh, no, you don't. Uh, a second here. Get this dude, all right. But yeah, you, you have like these leaderboard things throughout these challenges or whatever between you and your friends, uh, most headshots, kills, things like that, which is uh, kind of cool if you're competitive at all with your friends. Uh, they have a photo mode, which I haven't really dabbled with too much, although I've seen it played with uh, in reviews and whatnot. It's cool. I'm not really a big... I mean, not that I'm not a fan. I'm just not really into that. Uh, but it's a neat little option for people who want it. And 
Uh, of course, 1080p, 60 frames per second, which is uh, pretty cool. Uh, definitely, especially for the first game. First game, I gotta be honest, on on the original PlayStation 3, uh, the frame rate was not the best. There was a lot of screen tearing, and uh, it's not an issue anymore in this one. It's very fluid, as you can see here, and uh, yeah, uh, definitely an improvement. Although, I mean, like Uncharted 2 and Uncharted 3, they were pretty fluid when it comes to the gameplay, uh, even at 30 frames per second. I never really had an issue with those two games. It was only the um, the first game, uh, Drake's Fortune, which had that issue with the screen tearing. And uh, but yeah, so let's concentrate here and get these dudes. Oh sweet, there's Sully I'm gonna pick us up. Of course, this is just a uh, you know a tutorial level, kind of get your bearings, how to shoot, things like that. All right. And the other thing that's cool too, used to annoy me a little bit in the original, is the mushroom cloud explosions are out of this game. They went more for the traditional explosions from Uncharted 2 and Uncharted 3, which is cool. I always thought that was one thing of the original that made the game look bad to me, was the, uh, the explosions. under control until they blew up the boat <laughs> you all right nothing the years of therapy won't fix well if it isn't the beautiful and talented elaine fisher flattery will get you screen time yeah i'm more of a behind the scenes kind of guy victor sullivan huh. <laughs> ah, for christ's sakes <sighs> what do you say we get out of here before we attract any more attention. Well? A little present from Sir Francis. Oh, oh, so you found the coffin. Wait a minute, is this what I think it is? <laughs> Drake's lost diary. He faked his death, just like I said, Sully. He must have been onto something big. Yeah, well, let's just keep that between us. Thanks for the loan, Mr. Drake. I think I've earned a look at that diary when we land. So look, when Drake sailed into the Pacific, he took the Spanish fleet completely by surprise. He captured their ships, he took all their maps, their letters, their journals, and he recorded everything in this diary. Uh-huh, so this... But when he got back to England, Queen Elizabeth confiscated all of his charts and logbooks, including this one, and then swore his entire crew to silence. Yeah, so this... You see, Drake discovered something on that voyage, Sully. Something so secret and so valuable, they couldn't risk it getting out. All right, Nate, just pretend for a minute that I don't really care about any of that stuff and cut to the chase, would you? <sighs> Man only interested in the climax. He must be a real hit with the ladies. Never had any complaints. Okay, then. I'll jump to the good part, just for you. Oh, ho, ho. Huh? El goddamn Dorado. He was onto something big, all right. Does it say anything else? Oh, so now you're interested, huh? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, no. Last page was torn out. I'm telling you, Sully. This is it. This is finally it. Yeah. Only... We got one little problem. Yes, that's what I said. It blew up. It sank. No, that's why we have insurance, right? Oh. Oh no, the camera? No, the camera's fine. Don't worry about the camera, no. Still as good as new. Sully, the girl can hold her own. You should have seen her. Fine. You go on out there and you tell her, we just found the lost city of gold. Maybe her producer can get it on the air tonight. Oh, come on. Nate, do you trust me? More or less. <laughs> good. Because we're going to have every two-bit scumbag in the world racing us to this treasure unless we cut her loose right now. You're a real gentleman, Sully. I know. It stinks. She'll get over it. No, I don't... I don't care for over budget. I mean, do you realize that this could be, like, the biggest story of the year? <laughs> Fine. No, I don't trust him, okay? 
That's why we need to move fast. So just get me the camera crew, and I promise you that... Should have seen that one coming. Ugh. Oh, hold on. Hold on, kid. I'm not as young as I used to be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you weren't too old for that little barmaid in Lima, were you? <laughs> <laughs> well, that was different. Although I must admit. Equally as strenuous. <laughs> oh, Sully. Well, hang in there, old timer. We're just about there. <laughs> you know, this reminds me. I ever tell you about the time I pawned a phony 16th century Santo off on Pablo Escobar? <laughs> oh, risky move, but by the time he figured it out, I was. Nate, are you even listening to me? Hanging on every word. <laughs> Yeah, one thing, I don't know if you guys noticed this, uh, with Uncharted 4 coming out, uh, Nate's brother in that, who name escapes, escapes me at the moment, everyone assuming that it is in fact Nate's brother, but to me, he looks more like Sully's son. And the reason I say, like, look at the forehead of... Nate's brother Maybe in Uncharted 4. It's a, it, he has a fairly big oh, forehead. You look at Nate, he has pretty sh pretty small forehead. Nate, Sully has a bigger forehead. Damn, and to me, Easy, the Sully. facial features of Sully match more of Nate's brother in Uncharted 4. So even though Nate's calling him his brother and whatnot, as, since Nate grew up with Sully yeah. from, from a young age, like I'm assuming that he is his brother, but is rather his stepbrother. I suppose we'll have to wait and see when Uncharted 4 comes out, if that is in fact true. Again, I'm just maybe con conspiracy nut uh, spitballing here, but that's one thing I've noticed. And I've noticed that since playing through this game, because there's, there's a lot of Sully scenes in this game, uh, especially early on, and you guys see a lot of close-ups of Sully and whatnot. And uh, that's something I noticed. Find Nothing yet. Uh, one thing up here coming up is we're going to see, uh, or rather, there was a a treasure. Uh, I believe it's to the uh, where is it to? Not the right, uh, to the left, right here, right over there. And uh, you can get, I think that might be the first trophy or the treasure in the game. There's actually an, a, a trophy to collect all the treasures. And uh, that's cool. By the way, if you're unfamiliar with my Let's Plays, this is a Let's Play. It's not a full-on walkthrough by any means. I will not go and look for every treasure in the game. You know, all the secrets in the game. That's not what we're here for. We're here for the story and just kind of leisurely playing through it. That's uh, kind of how this is for my channel. And if you want something a bit more thorough, uh, there's plenty of complete walkthroughs for this game on YouTube. Oh, oh, oh. I remember seeing this for the first time, and just like the the shadows and and uh, whatnot, it was. Downright amazing. Now, this came out around the time, I gotta say, of Crisis. And Crisis, obviously, a, a great looking place. game. But I believe I played well, Uncharted, or I seen huh? Uncharted yeah. first. Where's but, anyways, we're gonna gold? watch yeah, this, this cutscene here. Picked clean centuries ago. No good limey pirate. No, it wasn't Drake. Check this out. Looks like the Spanish got here before he did. What the hell, Sully? Nate, I'm not looking for a lousy piece of tin. I'm up to my eyeballs in debt. I was really counting on this one. Too many big bar tabs in Lima, I guess. <laughs> that and, well, just a few bad deals. 
Yeah, well, I always told you to stay away from the bad guys. And the bad girls. Yeah? Look who's talking. What's that supposed to mean? That reporter? I saw the way you were eyeing her. Elena? Please. I snuffed any chance with her the second we ditched her on that dock. <laughs> All's fair in love and war, kid. Uh, and what if you can't tell the difference? Then, my friend, you are in big trouble. Ooh, I'm in big the trouble. Sure left a lot of crap behind. <laughs> All right, so let's hit this here. Treats us a Never convenient bridge. A drop. You're not kidding. I want to say during my original playthrough that I actually jumped off of that. I'm talking like original PlayStation 3 playthrough, and I don't know why. Because I mean that explosive barrel is like red, and it's right up there in your face. But uh, I, I don't know. Maybe I wasn't paying attention at that particular time. And by the way, if you guys are if this is like your first video, first of all, welcome. Uh, but a lot of people have heard this story, and I'm just going to repeat it one more time. The reason I purchased a PlayStation 3 back in last gen was for two games. Uncharted 2 and the Killzone 2. And it was specifically Uncharted 2 that kind of pushed me over. To finally get one right, and go. it was that so e3 old. demo with the helicopter and the collapsing right, building so it was phenomenal looking combine that with the price drop i think it dropped down to 299 at that particular point in time it was a no-brainer for me to get one up until that point i was a 360 I gamer I, I think there's something played exclusively on 360 and funny enough with that, yeah, one of the reasons I is. bought a 360 was that it was the most kind of PC-like of the three consoles at that particular it. time. It had the so Call of Duties. Uh, there was rumor at the time of getting a Battlefield, which eventually became Bad Company. Uh, it had NHL, the next-gen NHL, which the PC didn't even have, which was another uh, reason I bought that. But, yeah, I mean, Uncharted and Killzone, they were the two. And of the nice. two, I would say Uncharted was the one that uh, lived up to the uh, my ex uh, my expectations of what I expected out of uh, my purchase of a PlayStation. A Killzone is definitely a good game as well. Uh, don't, make, don't make that comment seem like I hate on Killzone. But uh, for me, like, Uncharted... It met and even exceeded my expectations, which is definitely hard to do, if I'm being honest. And of course, if you guys are not aware, I also own a Nintendo Wii, or rather, actually, I have the Wii, but I also own the Wii U. And so right now, I basically have all three gen, or all current gen consoles. And what's funny is that, like, last gen was kind of like the, the first gen where I... I uh, collected all three consoles, but also is the first time where I kind of got really hardcore into gaming. Uh, I was always a gamer. I played NES. I played the, or rather, I owned NES. I had a Super Nintendo. Uh, the last console I really had was the N64. I'm going to shoot these barrels right here. I should give Sully the way down, I believe. Uh, yes. But uh, yeah, I had all these consoles, and that was kind of like the first time where I'm like, hey, I want to be like really into games here. And now I'm at a point where I collect games and and uh, kind of reliving the childhood a little bit, you know. All right, I think I'm gonna end it here soon. Uh, there's a sequence coming up that is a very Uncharted-like sequence that I kind of want to keep for the next video. Uh, is it soon? I can't remember now. Yeah, by the way, I've only played this game uh, once, and that was on the PlayStation 3. Uh, I've seen it played a few times. I've watched other Let's Players play the game before I had a PlayStation, and uh, myself, again, only once. I played Uncharted 2 and Uncharted 3. Uh, Uncharted 2 I played like three times, three or four times. Uh, Uncharted 3 I've only played once or twice. Well, that's right, yeah. This is the puzzle. Yeah. Of course, with these puzzles, it's a little easier to do once Wait, you know where to go. Uh, puzzles in this one, they usually give you pretty good hints. As you see here, we're, we're going to pull up the uh, 
or rather we pulled up the the uh, book Drake's book they usually give you hints of what you have to do or what you have to look out for which is cool uh, one thing I'll be completely honest with you uh, I'm not the greatest at puzzles uh, in games that are primarily like action type games, like a Tomb Raider, for instance, uh, or of car uh, or, or of course Uncharted, as we're playing now. Uh, when I'm playing puzzles, I prefer being in the mood or the mindset of playing a puzzler, such as Portal or Portal Two. Uh, when it comes to my action games, I or my adventure games, I prefer leaving the puzzles out of it. Well, to be fair, I, I find that, for the most part, uh, the puzzles are, in this game are not that difficult at all. And that might be a complaint for some people, uh, especially in the later Uncharted, was that the puzzles are not that complicated. For me, personally, I'm glad that they're not. Because <laughs> I, I do enjoy the stories of these games. And uh, hopefully it stays that way. So yeah, I've got to go over here. And then after this one, it's just the one on my right here. And then that's it. So there's only four of them. So we'll go to shimmy over this way. I suppose I could have just dropped down, but let Drake climb a little, get used to that. Because we will be doing a lot of it uh, in this game and especially the later games. I would say... Uh, that's probably like the, the big thing with the, with this game is a lot of platforming. Uh, if you don't like that, if you don't like your platforming any third person shooter, then you probably will not like this game. It's simple as that. But I think it works fairly well. Thing with this one, uh, with Drake's Fortune, is that there's some jankiness with the animations. You got to realize this is Naughty Dog's first game on the PlayStation 3. It was their first game like this up until this point. They did a lot of uh, animated type uh, platformers, you know, like Jack and Dexter yeah. and uh, like Crash Bandicoot. But uh, we'll uh, this is like their first, I guess you could say, careful. kind of realistic game. And uh, there's definitely some hey, animation jankiness and so on that yeah. you have to be careful of. Oh shit, I better hurry up here. Yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> So I think here I got to push this. If I'm not mistaken, there is water that's going to be dropping down so I can actually drop down that area. Okay, getting somewhere. Yes, we are. But yeah, with the animation jankiness and stuff, I mean, it's not game breaking by any means. Uh, yeah, tell me you're gonna swim there's a few parts where it can get you worse. killed if you're not used to it. Uh, but definitely do not let that turn you off from the game. It's still a great game. But uh, definitely rest assured that in Uncharted 2 and Uncharted 3, that's where they really uh, perfected their skill. And uh, it's a lot better in those two games. But so far from what I've played of this, it's actually not too bad. Now, I'm not too sure if Bluepoint actually uh, changed much in it. I do know that they uh, removed the motion control stuff in this. I believe, like, to throw a grenade, you have to, like, do a motion with the control. Uh, I think you have to do some balancing when you I want to, you know, you want to climb or cross a log, things like that. They removed that, thankfully. But uh, I'm not too sure what else they changed in this one. Nice. Just see, uh, they don't have anything in these. I, I, I swear to God, like you look at these pots, you expect them to have uh, stuff one. in them. All right. I think yeah. So this is the part I was talking about. I'm gonna end it right here, and we will start the next episode from this Uncharted-like event. So until next time, this is LeBurn98. Take care, guys. See ya. Yeah. Bye. This looks safe.